What was Lorenz? This is the Lorenz machine. It's a high-grade cipher machine used by the German army during World War II. The Germans famously used the Enigma machine to encipher most of their communications, but by the early 1940s, Enigma's no longer cutting edge. German code makers are looking for different ways, more modern ways to protect their military communications. And they're also facing the new problem after their conquests of most of Europe, that they have commanders uh, many hundreds of miles apart needing to communicate ac across occupied territory. It's better if they don't use landlines for that communication because they can be tapped or sabotaged. So they adopt a system using radio and they pair with that radio teleprinters. Teleprinters are devices used at the time to send textual information. They talk to each other in Bow.Murray code, which is a binary code in which each character was represented by a combination of five impulses, either dots or crosses. And we can see that these are the equivalent of zeros and ones. The Lorenz machine sits on your radio teleprinter link and it has wheels, 12 wheels in total, which generate a random character which is added to the text you're sending. And then at the receiving end, another Lorenz machine set up in exactly the same way, adds the same character to the transmitted text. And the result is you get the original unencrypted plain text back again. Now, this system is highly technical for the 1940s. It requires good synchronization between um, both ends of the radio link. So there's a long period of testing which the Germans have to go through before the system becomes operational. And it's during that period of testing that the British first become aware of these new transmissions and start to investigate the problem. Why was a computer needed to break the Lorenz cipher? A key breakthrough came when two nearly identical messages were transmitted. And because they were using the same cipher key. The two Lorenz machines were set up in the same way. This gave a way into the system. These messages are analysed by one of Britain's leading code breakers, John Tiltman at Bletchley, and he's able to decrypt both messages and also extract a stretch of the cipher key produced by the Lorenz machine. This is then handed over to a recently arrived young mathematician from Cambridge, Bill Tutt. After several weeks' work, he's able to make his own breakthrough. He uses that stretch of cipher key to reconstruct the movement of one of the Lorenz wheels. And at that point, colleagues join in and together, as a team effort, they reconstruct the entire theoretical workings of the machine, which is an amazing achievement considering that none of them had ever seen it in real life. Following these initial breakthroughs, a new section is set up at Bletchley Park to read uh, what they know as tunny traffic on a regular basis. That is the testery led by Major Ralph Tester. And they're breaking this material by hand. It's incredibly labor intensive, incredibly mind numbing work. And it's only possible because of procedural errors by the Germans. As time goes on and these experimental radio links become operational, the Germans tighten up their cipher security and breaking by hand becomes harder and harder. In the meantime, Bill Tutt had still been thinking about Lorenz. And by thinking about the construction of the machine, how it manipulates that teleprinter code, and how it might be possible to perceive an echo of the underlying plain text message, he devises a statistical method, which in theory should allow the British to work out the wheel settings used for a particular Lorenz message. The principle was that if a process form of the message and the key stream produced by the machine were added together in successive places, there would be a slight increase of observed dots compared to crosses in the position that was used to encipher the message. So you could work your way through all the possible positions and you could, by looking for that statistical anomaly, you could find the position of the machine's wheels, which was used to encipher a particular message. The problem with this method is that it was far too labor intensive to ever be carried out by hand. It was essential to think about mechanizing the process. And that was what Bill Tutt and the other code breakers working on Lorenz then turned their efforts towards. <laughs>